to the infrared spectroscopy. Basically, the structure determination by spectroscopy part one means today we will discuss the infrared spectroscopy part. It means that how does infrared spectroscopy help us in determining the structure? Means what type of functional group are present and uh, the how is the ring strain, these kind of things. Uh, first one is come. Now, what is the basic theory of infrared spectroscopy? Then how can I know that a molecule is so active or not? The basic theory of infrared spectroscopy is that if there is a change in dipole moment during a, a vibration of a particular mode, then that vibration will be air active. So basically the theory is if this is very vital statement, the most important statement for infrared spectroscopy. If there is a change in dipole moment so if there is a change in dipole moment during the during a particular vibrational mode during a particular vibrational mode that mode will be air active or that mode that vibrational mode will absorb will absorb in IR region. This is the most important statement for infrared spectroscopy. That is, it's a vibration spectroscopy. So if during a vibration, there is a change in dipole moment, that vibration will be IR active. For example, let us consider, we have this alkene group we have this alkene group so basically for example it stretch particular this stretch stretch up to this much means the bond become elongated carbocarbon double bond but during such stretching here is no change or very small change very small change In dipole moment, in dipole moment, so as a result, as a result, this carbon carbon double bond will not absorb in the IR region. or the absorption will be very minimal or very weak higher intensity intensity see the bond is vibrating means the bond is going to elongate means it is stretching like that the upon it's become elongated and we see even it is symmetrical, so no change or very small change in the dipole moment. As a result, this vibration will not absorb in the region or if it at all absorb, the intensity will be very low. Now, if you consider this example, for example, we have this carbonyl group. If it stretch, so let us now bond become elongated. So this is, it was del minus del plus del plus del minus now here is a change in dipole moment during vibration significant change in dipole moment 
significant change in dipole moment so the ir spectrum or the absorption in ir range ir ir absorption will have more intensity those who have measured the infrared spectroscopy remember that when you do the ir measurement for carbonyl group the peak become very much intense this is due to the fact that the during the co vibration the change in dipole moment is significant among whereas for alkene we get alkene peak very much significantly weak for example if the alkene peak become this much amount of small the carbonyl will be that much intense so basically this is for alkene and this is for carbonyl here we are putting percentage of transmittance i am not going to that part but rather we are dealing the basic spectra so the basic theory is that change in dipole moment okay now if this is asked based on this theory how do you distinguish a cis trans isomer by this by r spectra so basically this is the cis isomer now let's just draw the structure so this is the cis isomer cl L H H. So now CCL bond moment acts in the sides. For this, again CCL bond moment acts in this side. So resultant bond moment will act in this side. So for that vibration, resultant mu does not equal to zero. So this vibration has some non-zero dipole moment value. So this will be IR active, though the value is quite smaller. But it will be IR active with small intensity value. With small intensity. Why small intensity? As this is the alkene part. The previous slide we discussed that alkene absorbs, absorbs and become very much small. Whereas for the trans isomer, So Cl, Cl, H, H. This is the trans isomer. Here, this CCL bond moment acts in this direction. Here, CCL bond moment acts in this direction. As a result, total mu become zero. That is, no IR absorptions. For what? For C double bond C. For these compounds, we won't get any peak for carbon-carbon double bond in the air spectrum. And for this compound, we'll get carbon-carbon double bond with very small intensity value. But we note that the CCL value, that CCL bond vibrations for all the compounds, means both the compounds, have significant change in dipole moment. So for both the compound, for both the compound, compound we will have sharp CCL band because for CCL band we have a significant change in dipole moment whether it's placed or trans on cis that doesn't matter but for carbon carbon double bond for this the value will be very small here the peak will be absent and absorptions not present. Similarly, if we think for these compounds, a cis alkene, a trans alkene. For cis alkene, what? C double bond C, same logic H R. This is the trans alkene. Let's see. So 
So here, not I am not I am showing the directions. The direction will depend on the R. But whatever the directions for different R, the mu is equal to zero. They oppose each other. But for here, when it is placed in cis directions or cis manner, this is R. This is R. Here, mu will be non-zero. So this C double bond C mode. I R active with small intensity value and this mode will be IR inactive as for which mode for carbon carbon double bond vibration mode. Now let us visualize the spectrum. This spectrum is for cis. See, we have very small value for this range as carbon carbon double bond absorbed in this range very small intensity very small intensity a look here for the trans this band is absent so in experimental chemistry or in chemistry so determining isomer whether it's cis or trans is sometimes become difficult but we have a closer look on our spectrum we can easily say whether it is a cis isomer or trans isomer so that is very fantastic observation from the R spectrum in this way we can distinguish cis and trans isomer see in this region we don't have any I mean basically in the region 1645 we don't have any band but in case of cis isomer we have a very small band and why this is band is small because for carbon carbon double bond the change in dipole moment during the vibrations is very small 